All right, so today I'm going to do another Houdini Modeler 2025 tutorial, this time focusing in on the Extrude and the Extends tool, but mostly the Extrudes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into the Modeler workspace here. And then I'm going to do a Alt-Q and drop a box. Classic box situation. Uh, let's jump into that box by hitting I. And then I want to select a face. I just hit Q or apostrophe, drug to the right. Now in face mode. And here I just hit shift F. I'm extruding. Shift F again, I'm extruding, right? If I want to, let's say, select this one. Let's select this whole ring. How about, oh, that wasn't the whole ring. Let's do that. Shift F. Awesome. Shift F, but then hold shift and then drag to the right, I did an inset. Shift F, drag to the left, I pull in. Shift F, drag to the right, inset again. Shift F, drag to the right. Okay, so you can quickly just throw in some really interesting shapes. But now let me show you another thing. Let me do a Shift F, drag up here, and let me just scroll my mouse wheel add some divisions, and now hit control shift, drag my mouse. See, I can control the profile of the extrude itself. Really, really easy to use. Uh, you can just go to town on this, shift F, I'm gonna drag this up. Now I'm gonna hold shift um, without getting out of the extrude tool. You can see I'm still in the extrude. I'm gonna hold shift and then drag to the left, which pulls it out, drag to the right, pulls it in, shift F, goes up a little bit more. Now, this time, let's do a, um, I'm gonna just select, yeah, let's just select all these faces, and I'm gonna Shift F to extrude them, except this time I want to extrude each face individually. So I just went over here, hit the extrude each element, and there I am. Um, and by the way, if I go down, the other nice thing about this, the apostrophe, it can jump between the states. So my last node is an extrude. If I quickly hit the apostrophe and drag down, it jumps between the select state and whatever tool happens to be, uh, you know, you have focus on. So here I dropped out of the extrude and I could select some more, but now I'm going to drop back into, into extrude. Okay. Okay. So now that's all great. Um, let's drag this out a little bit farther and add some divisions and let's do this again, shift F, do that. Okay, great. One other thing in conjunction with the extrude that is, is so powerful with modeler is the ability to select similar. And the reason why this is so interesting and along with the extrude is that I can get in, you can get into these situations where you've pulled out similar faces to do an extrude like this. But now let's say I want to bevel all those edges that I just created. Um, I can easily just go into edge mode, select one of these edges, hit A, select that guy, then go in and select similar. And there I go. It just selected everything. If I hit shift B, I can bevel those, throw a little bevel on there. Um, off you go, right? So now let's do one other thing here. I'm gonna shift A, let's do that select similar again. Let me um, select that. And now let's say if I, if I, if I wanted to ex extrude this, watch the issue I would have if I just did a straight extrude. Watch as these are starting to kind of collapse in on each other. See, see what's happening there? Imagine I didn't wanna do that, or I wanted to do it up to here, but then I wanted to go straight up. That's where the extend tool comes in. So let's go up to here and now I'm gonna hit control E and now I'm just gonna drag straight up. I can drag my, my uh, if, I, if I drag the distance like this, um, it, it's uh, something similar happens. But if I undo that and just drag right here, see how it just goes straight up? So I grab the, 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 the gizmo and drag it, drag it straight up. And that's basically doing a local transform extrude but that's the extend tool, okay? So now once that's done, uh, let's say I wanna flatten this thing, so I'm just gonna Alt F, flatten down, and now I can extrude without worrying about it collapsing on each other, okay? Awesome. Now one last thing um, that I wanna show you is let's add some more divisions here and let's 
do another um, profile manipulation. What's happening when you're doing that is you're manipulating these ramps. So in this particular case, I'm manipulating the thickness ramp. See how that's changing as I do this? What's great about this is I can expand this and you can think of 0.5 here on the Y axis as no influence. But let's say I wanted to um, really influence higher up. I wanted to really push that out or pull it in and then maybe extend this up, punch that up a little bit like that. Gives me a lot of control. And let's say that's too extreme. I can pull it in a little bit more or even make it more extreme just by dragging this slider here. Okay. Same holds true with the twist. So again, 0.5, no influence. Let's say I wanted to add a point here and I wanted to start to extrude straight from the middle. And notice I'm only manipulating those, the, the middle loops, right? So you can imagine how much control this just gives you so much control of the shapes that you're able to build uh, using this Houdini modeler plugin. Really, and I just want to make sure everyone understands, I'm not being sponsored for this video or anything. I just have been enjoying this plugin so much. I just can't get enough of it. And as I learn it, I'm just going to keep throwing these videos up there as I learn these new things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you next time.